we didn't get to be out there for it, but I, I saw it pretty quickly. Your cousin sent it to me right away. Yeah, he's pretty like, happy, dude, huh? This is, uh, this is pretty slick and pretty sick. Yeah. You don't see that a ton from standing up, it's just kind of the way you were able to throw right into it like that, right? Yeah, um, I mean, for, for me, that's uh, that's like my go-to. Um, I wrestled my whole life, and uh, there's, a, there's a move in freestyle that you kind of actually use the same kind of setup for that, so. Okay. Um, yeah, man, I, I knew uh, I knew if I got on his head, that if anything, he was going to get a little tired. Um, but a lot of guys, man, they try trying to block those knees, and that's what slips that in there. And then once my, you know, I have short-ass arms, so once they get locked, they're pretty tight. So You also had a guy miss weight again for the second time since you've well, been here. Well, if you want to think about it, it's the fifth time out of my six fights that these guys have fifth missed weight. Fifth out of six? Yeah. So um, to me, it's, it's I, I get it. You know, I, I mean, I don't get it, but I, I understand it, why you guys do. You know, this shit's hard. Um, but I've done it, you know, in, in college we made weight 29 times a year and I did that for five years plus my whole, you know, high school career and everything, so. To this point, you just sit there and go, hey man, it's free, it's I free money. I hope you miss weight. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I don't give a shit. I mean, I'll fight you if you come in eight pounds over. I mean, now I got a little extra money in my pocket. My baby mama, you know, she likes that shit, so. <laughs> what do you think God Fighters to most weight. Do you think it's more personal issues that they're having outside of? I I don't. Man, I I don't. Um, and bad yeah, I think I think a lot of people are just a little uneducated on it, and, and the guys that that are educated on it, they can't afford it. Um, and and you know, like guys that wrestled their whole lives, that's just something that you you've you've mastered over the years. Um, so from a guy like me, I mean, I'm not gonna miss weight. You know, I don't give a fuck about whatever it is. You know, it's just what I'm gonna do, and I want all my money. So. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, he's a professional athlete, and it, I do understand. I mean, I don't understand how why people miss weight, but I, I I do in a way because you know some people just can't afford it, and some people just aren't educated on nutritional stuff. So, you wrestled for Oklahoma State University in college. Well, folks, yes, does, sir. It, does it mean anything to you uh, to come back here to Oklahoma? I mean, your last two fights here. Yeah, I mean, man, I've, every fight I've had is in Oklahoma. So uh, for me, man, I love representing my state. I have actually a pretty good following here. Um, and yeah, man, I just, I like it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I like to fight somewhere else next, just to kind of get a different feel, you know, and, and try to, you know, grow my net a little bit. But, man, I, I'll always come back here and represent. I'm undefeated uh, in Oklahoma, which is 6-0. and So, um, yeah, man, I'd like to try something else a little bit next. You got May in San Jose, though, right? I mean, like... Yes, you know, but I'm, I, I'm having my baby in, in about three weeks. So, uh, that might be a little hard for me. Um, but, you know, I, I have a great uh, girlfriend, and she understands what I'm doing, and um, she understands w what could really happen with this. So um, you never know. Um, you mentioned fighting all your fights here. How, I mean, does it make your move into this sport as a professional, does it make it a little bit easier transitioning, having a pretty good support group around you for these early fights? Yeah, man. Um, I have great coaches. I have great teammates. My family all comes. Uh, my, my best friends are always here. You know, I don't care if I fought wherever, they were always going to be there. So um, we're actually about to leave pretty soon. We're driving to Arkansas tonight. My little brother's wrestling in a state tournament tomorrow. I mean, today and tomorrow, he's in the semis in the morning. So we're all going. We're all going to go support him. And, um, you know, there's more to, to life than this stuff. And, um, you know, family comes first. So. You, wrestled, you wrestled on an extremely high level uh, in college. I was wondering uh, what the similarities and differences were during fight week leading up to a fight. Is there anything similar? Uh, I feel more pressure when I was wrestling than I do now. Um, my coaches think it's weird how relaxed I am in the back, but I've wrestled in front of 42,000 people. I've wrestled in front of 20,000 people. And man, I know, I know who I am. I'm a very confident guy. I know that when it comes down to it, I'll, I'll, I mean, I don't mind getting hit. I don't mind getting kicked. I'm at the American Kickboxing Academy, which if you guys know, you know, those guys, uh, it, it's just what we do, you know? And uh, so, yeah, man, I, I've been at a high level my whole life. I've always considered myself um, a little bit above, some steps above some people, so um, as far as athletics go, so. Who do you see as your most dangerous opponent in your weight class? I don't have a dangerous opponent, but I want to fucking fight Dylan Dennis. So whenever his fucking ass Dylan, is ready, he can well, let me know. That's because you just want to beat him up. No, I do want to beat his ass. I don't really <laughs> see anybody as, as a potential threat for me right now. Um, I mean, once I climb up the rankings a little bit more, um, then we can be able to say some things like that. But. Um, I think Dylan Dennis needs to get his ass whipped, and I would be the guy to do it. So, your opponent tonight, how size wise, how does he compare to the first five guys that you fought? I mean, obviously, there's a height. Yeah, a little sure. bit of a height. Did you difference. see the last dude I fought? That, that guy was a beast, man. 
I, that was a big man. This dude was tall, but he was a little skinnier. Um, so, man, I don't know, man. I'm not. I've always been a short guy. Um, you know, I'm 170 pounds and five eight. Most guys I fight are six, six one, six two. He was definitely rangy, but I knew if I got inside and clinched him up, it was going to be pretty much uh, takedown clinic. So. You had some harsh words for Dylan Dammons. Uh Scott Coker has been entertaining the idea of having Dylan Dammons fight uh, Logan Paul. What is your opinions on that? Uh, on selecting I mean, Scott dude, if you want to fight someone, dude, I'm ready. Like, I'll fight your ass. If you want to fight someone that's willing to fight you, I am here ready to go. Like, I, I don't I, I don't call people out, but to me, I would like to see that guy try to take me down and get me on the ground. I'll beat his ass on his feet. So um, I don't have a lot of animosity towards people, and I've never met the guy, but... I think he's just kind of playing a coattail on Conor McGregor, and you've seen what my teammate did to him. So, I believe Marcel threw him out the gym. Is that right? Uh, I don't. I don't know nothing about that, man. I'm not into all the drama and shit like that. But um, for me, if, if if anything, if I could pick someone I wanted to fight, that's who I'm going with. How much? How much mad time do you have? You gotten with Khabib Nurmagomedov? Any? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I'm one of his main sparring guys, grappling guys, wrestling guys when he's in camp. Um, I'm actually gonna fly back out. My baby's due in a month. I'm gonna fly out for two more weeks to make sure I can get some training with him. Um, Cause you don't get that a lot, man. And uh, yeah, man, he's a, he's a really good guy. He, you know, he helps me, he helps us. We help him with the wrestling part. Um, you don't need much of it, but we uh, we have a good team, man. We got a bunch of good guys. And, so. Is AKA still going as hard as ever and sparring and things like that? They're notorious for hard sparring. And I mean, I, if you're, if like, like if, to me, if you're gonna be a fighter, then you gotta fight. Like, you can't worry about all the, the shit that comes with it, you know? Like, for me, I get it, and, and the brain damage and all those things like that, but if you're gonna be the best you can be at this stuff, you gotta put yourself in the line of fire, especially early. You know, towards the end of your career, I'm sure you can do some different things, but yeah, man, we're still banging, we're still fighting, we're still training hard.